Is a local school now mold free? Well, Chesapeake administrators released a follow up report on Great Bridge Primary School. Last month, we showed you the trouble just as school opened. The mold was so bad, it sent one student to the hospital and others complained to 10 on your side. Andy Fox broke the story in September, and there's a new report now. So, Andy, what does the report say? Well, Tom, we're pleased to report good news in that report. We met with a man in charge of removing the mold, and believe it or not, he uses detergent like Dawn. Yes, Dawn ultra concentrated dishwashing liquid to wipe down mold, aggressively attacking the mold until there is no visible evidence of mold or mold odors. The doctor listened to his chest and said to me, get him to the hospital right now. He's in a respiratory distress. Rana Thomas's grandson, Landon, would spend the next three days in the hospital. His doctor says the labor breathing may have come from mold in classroom 18 here at Great Bridge Primary School. Today, Thomas not impressed with a new air study that shows clean classes. For them to be sure it's a healthy environment and to assure that the children are safe, the teachers are stay safe, the staff is safe in the school, this should have been done before school opened. When school opened, McKee Environmental had this spore mold analysis that showed pink spore counts significantly higher than outside air in several classrooms, including Landon's. Today, Eric McKee showed us this new analysis with all spore levels equal to or less than outside air. No more pink, all white showing low levels. We were not allowed to record the meeting with McKee because his boss, Chesapeake Public Schools, would not allow it. And he would not comment on camera, nor would school officials. Their summary is, is that the rooms are completely clean and there's nothing to worry about. I know, but is that what the numbers say? Tom is skeptical, but McKee insists the rooms are clean. And I'm thankful you guys were able to get out there and um, like push them in the direction they need to be pushed in. That direction, the new air analysis was not taken until six days after we reported high spore counts at the school. The dehumidifiers were not brought in until after our report. Thomas blames the high spore mold count for her grandson's illness, and he is now homeschooled because she does not want to put him in an environment that's going to be unsafe for his health. Mm -hmm. And that's what it comes down to. And it's a shame is what it is. Now, there are many more things we wanted to show you in this report. We were not allowed to go into the school, into the classrooms. We were not allowed to talk to the principal. We were not allowed to talk to school officials. And the guy who put out the report won't talk to us because Chesapeake Public Schools, who hired him, said no. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Now the good news is that we can confirm based on the McKee report, the numbers show very low levels of spore counts in the classroom.